today. My name's Eric. As always, I want to thank you for taking a couple minutes and checking out my video today. On this episode of Smoking, I'm going to show you how to make smoked sous vide cowboy steaks. Now, what is a cowboy steak? It's basically a bone-in ribeye steak that is cut incredibly thick. You know, normally a ribeye steak's around an inch thick. I got two monster steaks here. Uh, that my local butcher down at Stater Brothers cut for me. This bad boy right here is just over three inches in thickness and weighs nearly four pounds for one steak. This one's a little bit more uh, mellow. It's around two inches thick and it's around two and a half pounds. And these things are going to be absolutely delicious. And of course, we're going to smoke them for a little bit first to get some smoky flavor. I'm going to seal them up in some bags and we're going to sous vide cook them and then I'm going to finish them off by putting a nice sear with my new grill gun. And I'm going to keep things super simplistic today. We're just going to use regular old kosher salt and ground black pepper. When you have a really good piece of meat, you don't have to get too complicated with fancy spices. The old traditional salt and pepper work best. And don't be afraid with these steaks. They're so big they can take a lot of salt. So stick around. I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. Let's get cooking. Alright guys, so here are these monstrous cowboy steaks. And like I said, we're just using regular old kosher salt and ground black pepper. And just uh, take a little bit here. You can use a shaker. And like I said, these are humongous steaks. So they can take quite a lot of salt. So don't feel like you're over salting them. In fact, I would put on a little bit more than what you would think would be normal because of the thickness, okay? And you're gonna do the sides as well. And you know how easy this is. It's not very complicated. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish uh, doing this and then I'm gonna heat up my uh, smoke hollow smoker outside. We're gonna put a little bit of smoke on these and I don't wanna smoke them close to being ready. I'm gonna be sous vide cooking these at 134 degrees so for that reason, uh, once these reach an eternal temperature of around uh, 128, 129, I'm going to take them off because they're going to have a little bit of a carryover and I never want it to exceed my sous vide temperature. We just want to add a little bit of smoke. So I'll continue to uh, salt and pepper these and I'll meet you guys outside by my smoker. All right, guys, so I got them on the smoker. I'm using some hickory wood, and uh, I'm going to put a temperature probe in each one of these uh, steaks, kind of right in the center here. We're going to go straight down. This thing's so thick, you want to make sure you get it towards the center. And we'll do this one, too. There we go. And I'm using hickory just because I'm going to do it for a couple hours. I'm not sure how long this is going to take get a little smoke on it. They're pretty thick, so try to keep your smoker down kind of low. I'm going to try to keep mine maybe around 180 to 200 degrees with just one burner on, and that hopefully will keep it. It was uh, in the pre-warm up, it was right at 150, so that's perfect. And like I said, I'm using some hickory. Let's close this up real quick. Let's see, I don't know if you can see that. I can't really pull it right in front of the camera because uh, the cords are a little short and I got a magnet on this it sticks to the handle so I set uh, my temperature well that's way off 160 let's get that fixed right now we want to go like I said I'm gonna go down to uh, 129 so I'm gonna set them for 129 for each steak as you can see one's at 49 degrees and one's at 52 degrees and uh, Boom. That's it. So I'm not sure how long this will take. I just want to get a nice smoke layer. That's going to help when I sous vide cook it, give it a little bit more flavor. That's it. We'll see you guys in a little bit. We'll check back on this in, uh, I don't know, a half hour, 45 minutes, see where we're All at. All right, guys. It's been uh, just past a half hour. One showing 86 degrees, one showing 69. I'm not sure which is which. But uh, well, let's see, I can find out in a second. <clears throat> let's take a look here. How these are looking. By the way, the temperature is probably right around 175, 180 degrees. 
so I've been able to keep it low, which has been very nice. Oh yeah, you could definitely tell they're taking on some smoke. I mean, look at the uh, look at the color. All right, debating whether I should flip them or not. Eh, I think I'll just leave them. All right, guys, we're at one hour and forty-five minutes. This thing's hovering right at around one eighty. Uh, one's 122, well, 121, one's 106. So, I think I might just take them out now because I want to get them in the sous vide bath and because that one is so thick, I want to have it in there at least three hours and I want to eat before it's midnight, so, but let's take a look here. <laughs> All right. There we go. All right, let's pull these out. Oh my goodness, look at the color on that. Man, they look wonderful. A lot of liquid on top. They look like they take down a, uh, quite a bit of smoke, especially uh, by the bone here. Man, wow, they look good. Let me get these taken off. We'll take a closer look at them inside. All right, here they are. Man, do they smell smoky. I mean, look, they almost look cooked. So they were on there a total of an hour and 45 minutes. And uh, yeah, they definitely took on some smoke. I have no idea how these are going to taste, but I'm going to get them in some sous vide bags and we'll get them in the sous vide bath. All right, guys, here they are, vacuum sealed. Of course, I double sealed them on both sides just because these things are so big. And uh, we'll throw them in the bath in just a second. All right, vacuum sealed, ready to go. I got this set uh, at 134 degrees and uh, you know, this one would be done in a couple hours, but I'm going to go three hours on this one just because it's so big. Let's see here. Clamp that one on right there. Let's see, can I squeeze this one in the front somewhere? Might not be able to clamp this one. I might have to put it sideways. Thirty-four degrees. All right, guys. I have three hours, so you know what time that is. Time for a beverage. I'm trying something uh, new. I've been trying a couple of these hard seltzer waters because I'm on keto. This one's actually five percent wild berry. And if you guys haven't seen these things, they're pretty cool because uh, two hundred calories, one gram of sugar, three carbs. So this one's got a little bit more carbs. The one I tried last time had zero carbs, but it was four point five percent alcohol. But anyway, that's what I'm having. And this is my son Kyle. Hello. And he's trying something. He's actually having a beer. It's the first time he's having a beer, and I'm not. He's having beer? really the flying cauldron. Cauldron? Cauldron. Cald cauldron? Flying cauldron butterscotch beer. Non-alcoholic. It's a butterscotch cream soda. Isn't that cream soda then? Well, it says butterscotch. So who knows? Who knows? Okay. I think it's just cream soda. Isn't that in uh, Harry Potter? Don't they drink some kind of butterscotch beer or something? I don't know. I don't read Harry Potter. Yeah, well, there's a bunch of movies. You want to pour it? All right, and I'm having this. I don't even know who makes this. But uh, the fact that it's 5% alcohol means I'm going to try it. <laughs> and such low carbs. Uh, less carbs than, uh, you know, like a uh, Michelob Ultra. Smell that. How's your smell? Good. Yeah? Can you smell butterscotch? Yeah, it smells like butterscotch. Wow. Let me see. Smell. Ooh, it smells like one of those butterscotch candies. Wow, that I had as a kid. Alright guys, as always, I appreciate you watching my video. These steaks look great. I'm looking forward to them as well. Cheers, Kyle. And cheers to my viewer. Again, I appreciate you watching. Thank you. Oh, this is good. Mmm. I haven't, I've yet to taste any alcohol flavoring in these uh, seltzer waters. I mean, they have fruity, they taste like carbonated water. I don't taste any alcohol. But yeah, that could be dangerous, but it's good. Mmm. All right, Kyle. This is good. It tastes like, um, 
As the butterscotch is an aftertaste. Oh really? So this tastes like a regular cream soda? It tastes like a cream soda with a butterscotch aftertaste. Oh well there you go. Wow. Butterscotch is just a weird, one of those weird flavors. When I smell it, it smells like those little butterscotch candies yeah, that does. I used to get as a kid. All right, guys, three hours. I'm going to enjoy my beverage. Kyle's going to enjoy his butterscotch beer. And uh, we'll let this thing go. See you guys in a little bit. All right, welcome back. It's been around three hours and 25 minutes or so, three and a half hours, somewhere in there. But again, that's a great thing about sous vide cooking. Doesn't make a big difference if you're off by uh, an hour or two either direction. I just wanted to make sure these went at least three hours because uh, the thickness, not of that one, but of this big monster one here. All right, I'm gonna cut these out of the bag, kind of drain the liquid. We're going to put them on a rack, dry them off with paper towels, and uh, get ready to sear them with the grill gun outside. We'll be back in a second. All right, here we are. I just took them out, put them on a paper towel, and just uh, dry them off real good. They're not going to get a real good sear unless you get them kind of dry so they can crisp up really good. So dry them off on both sides. Man, I, I'm telling you, the smell of smoke when I cut open those bags is pretty intense. I don't know how strong it's going to be, seeing how thick uh, both these steaks are, especially this one here. But we'll see. I'm kind of curious. All right. I'm going to dry them off real good. I'll meet you guys outside. We're going to hit this with the grill gun, get a nice crisp sear on it. See you outside. All right, guys. I'm going to finish these uh, big steaks off with my new grill gun man I did a review video of this I'll leave a link below this thing's awesome 400,000 BTU uh, mini torch flamethrower you know powered by a propane tank screws right in the bottom this thing's pretty awesome anyway I'm gonna sanitize the uh, cooking area here I think that's good. Let me go grab the steaks. We'll be back in a second. All right, guys, I got the steaks here. We're just going to sear them for around a minute on each side here. Listen to that sizzle. Oh my goodness. All right, let me flip these over. We'll finish them off in just a second. All right, I flipped them over. Let's finish these off. I'm hungry. These are done. A <laughs> little piece of fat even on fire on that steak. <laughs> ah, there. 
All right. I will meet you guys inside. All right, here they are. Man, they look and smell delicious. Woo! At the grow gun does a good job of searing the outside, as you can tell. Anyway, we'll slice into one of these. Give it a try. Be back in a second. All right, guys. This is actually the smaller one. <laughs> Believe it or not. Let's just see. I can cut off the bone here. Just along it nice. Go. Put that off to the side. All right. Let's see now. Ooh, look at this. You can see that there in the light. Wow, perfectly cooked. Look at this. And look how thick, and look how it's cooked perfectly from top to bottom. Wow, that's the magic of the sous vide. There we go, guys. All right, we'll be back in a second. Give this a try. All right, I'm back here with my wife, Monica. I cut some up here. Hi. This big one we might have to save till tomorrow. <laughs> that is so big. All right, well, try, try a piece here. Okay. My big thing is I want to see if you can taste the smoke, if that okay. was worth it. Oh, the smoking. Mm. Oh, yeah. I definitely can taste the smoke. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mm. That is amazing. Wow. I'm All glad right. you did that, that extra step. Yeah, no, I definitely can taste it. It's uh, mm. it's not overly intense, but maybe, and this one tomorrow, if I let it rest overnight in the oh, fridge, yeah. yeah, it might take on more it smoke. It takes flavor. on more, yeah. Mm. But tonight, oh. this is really good, but we like smoky flavor. So if you don't like really smoky, I would say less, but. This is delicious. And this was uh, 134. To me, it's perfect. I mean, it looks a little red, but mm. it's cooked for three hours, so it's perfectly cooked. It's good. Nice it's and juicy. Really... Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Really good. If you haven't tried smoking and sous vide a steak, I highly recommend it. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching my video. If you like it, please hit the like button. I would love it if you would consider subscribing. I'll leave a link above to my website, ericsmokingbarbecue.com, and we'll see you next time. Thanks again for stopping by and watching. Have some more. Bye, guys. Mm. Mm. Wow. Out of the park. No, I definitely this is this. amazing. Mm. Mm. Look at that. Could it get better than that? No, I don't think mm -mm. so. Mm. Dixie wants to try some.